guys welcome back to ocean beauty in this video i'll be showing you guys me trying out a skunk stripe as you can see i already started to twist my hair i didn't feel the need to record this part because i've already created a video of me twisting my hair but i will record the rest since i will be putting the color wax in one specific patch of my hair Okay, so I will be using some Defining Butter from Bounce Curl. I've used it in a previous video and I'm going to continue using it because my hair loves it so much. Like, look how juicy my twists are. They look so moisturized and it makes my hair so soft and it doesn't flake on top of that. Like, it is so crazy. I don't know what they put in it, but it's some magic. And this is the temporary hair color I will be using. Honestly, I forgot that I had blonde color wax. I had got it like a couple of months ago, but as soon as I started seeing everyone posting about the skunk stripe, I was like, I got some blonde color wax and I'm going to put it to work. And the color wax, it really doesn't even flake that much. Like the only time I actually experienced flaking is probably when I was taking the twist down, but like after like day one or day two hair like it really wouldn't be like any flaking of the color at all so that's why i really love this brand and on top of that it literally smells like candy like it actually smells good like i've used some other color waxes in the past and it did not smell like this so they did a really good job but the only thing you probably won't be able to get around is how messy it can be like during this, I probably messed up like my little towel and another t-shirt because the wax can get everywhere, but I feel like that's inevitable, but it definitely is worth the results. And now I'm just doing this twist. Um, I just applied like a little bit of the defining butter and like while I'm doing the twist, I tend to like finger the tangle while I'm doing it. I try not to do it too rough. So if it looks rough, it's actually like not really rough. It probably just looks like that. But now I'm starting to use the color wax. Um, It shows up really well on dark hair. So that's another reason why I love this brand. Because my hair is like, well, it's light brown in some areas. But for the most part, it's pretty dark. And I've used some waxes in the past that didn't like really show up how I thought it was. But this is going to exceed your expectations like look how well you can see it so you will definitely be able to see the skunk stripe and i was making sure to put some of the wax on my edges part too because i really want that one blonde area to really pop Okay, so that section is done and just look at how healthy that looks like you can really see my curls with that color Like I absolutely love how it looks so much And now for this like I'm gonna kind of like flat twist it a little bit but like In a direction that's going towards the back of my head It might look like i'm pulling on my hair like really hard, but trust me like it didn't hurt at all Like i'm never that rough with my hair but I just started flat twisting my hair a little bit. And then this is probably the part that got really messy because the wax isn't like all the way dry yet. So of course it's going to be covering my hands, but the results definitely make it worth it.
and now that i got that twist done i'm going to move on to the next section but that one twist just made me so excited to see the results because i've never tried anything like this before with colors so i was so excited and i apologize if my voice sounds kind of hoarse like it's actually really early in the morning but i just wanted to go ahead and stop procrastinating and do the voiceover for this video so i apologize for the horses in advance and now i'm just doing the same thing with the next area um surprisingly like the wax didn't get on any other twists really like it most like for the most part it just stayed on the twist and in that area so i was really happy about that because usually when people do this skunk stripe they actually like dye it but i didn't like want to possibly damage my hair because i already dyed it last year and i've used some heat too so just to stay on the safe side i didn't want to dye it and i just wanted to use color wax Oh, and another thing, like lately, I've been thinking about like when my hair gets to like mid back length, I'm going to cut all like the dyed hair off. Like I low key already kind of started in this video, but I would just do like a little trim because I feel like the dyed parts are still healthy. I just feel like the like the darkest undyed parts are the healthiest and I would rather for my hair to just be in that condition fully. So maybe next year or I don't know. I'm gonna just see like when I feel fully comfortable cutting it all off. It's honestly not a lot that's dyed. I would say like probably about an inch really because when I had first dyed it, I had gotten like a pretty big trim like after that. So it really wasn't a lot of like dyed hair left in the first place. So I would probably be cutting off like an inch maybe or almost an inch. But yeah, those definitely got to go. This is probably my favorite clip in the whole video. Like, I just love how defined and healthy it looks. Like, I could not stop looking at it. Like, I was so excited. Like, it looks so good and healthy and juicy on top of that. And now I'm doing the last twist. As you can see, like, the twist is, I just can't get over how healthy it looks. Like, honestly, I feel like the skunk stripe already looks so good in the twist. Like, I was just really excited to see the results. And I kept these twists in for like a full day to make sure everything was fully dry. I just put it back like in a ponytail and just left it like that. And now this is like a day later, all the twists are fully dry. And I swear like the color wax dried to be like a brighter shade, which was perfect. But here's me taking down the twist. Like look at that definition in the health. Like I freaking love that hair butter so much. And now this is my hair halfway done. Um, sometimes I low-key hate day one here because like it's no volume or anything at all, but I am going to pick it out. But now I'm taking down like the most exciting part. I was so excited to see how it would turn out. Like, look at that. Look at that. Like, I don't know why, but it just gives me like superhero vibes or something. Like, I don't know, but I absolutely love how it looked. Like, it looks so unique and creative to me. I just low-key I'm not a fan of day one hair really because 
I'm not really like looking that much for definition. I'm always looking for volume, but this is like really defined. But I still thought it was cute anyway. I'm just like right now it's like what day two? I think day two or three, but I'll insert pictures at the end of how it expanded. But this is my hair when the volume started to kick in. I absolutely love like how that one like blonde patch of hair looked in comparison to the rest of my afro. I just feel like it's a really creative and unique touch. Like I absolutely love it. And I still have it in right now. Like, oh my gosh. But thank you guys for watching. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.